Hello, welcome back to another episode of Audit Trails. Today we're going to be discussing a little bit different of a topic. We're going to be discussing mobile devices and, and what is considered a mobile device um, in the eyes of NIST and when you're doing an audit. So just a little bit of a background, stumbled upon this in a recent audit, I was auditing a, an AC control surrounding access control for mobile devices. And it really just sparked a conversation about, all right, well, what is a mobile device? Do we consider laptops mobile devices? Stuff like that. So I did a little bit of digging. There is a lot of interpretations available out there, um, but I think we have found a solid answer. So I guess we'll start with the NIST glossary definition, because that's a lot of people's go-to when they're trying to really figure out the scope of a specific term or control. So the NIST definition reads a portable computing device that one has a small form factor such that it can be easily carried by a single individual two is designed to operate without a physical connection so wirelessly transmit or receive information three possesses local non-removable data storage and four is powered on for extended periods of time with a self-contained power source. Mobile devices may also include voice communication capabilities and onboard sensors that allow the device to capture pictures, video, record, or determine location and or built-in fe features for synchronizing local data with a remote location. So in the definition they also include examples so smartphones tablets e-readers um, if the device only has storage capability and it doesn't have all of these other mobile device features if you will um, and not capable of processing or transmitting data then it's considered a portable storage device so they did lay that out pretty nicely so um, there is different scope of controls and different definitions for portable storage devices that will not be touched upon within this video we're just really focusing on mobile devices so like i said we were doing an audit recently this came up and we really had to determine whether or not we consider um laptops mobile devices so they have almost all of this capability they have the gps capability they have the ability to wireless transmit information they're allowed to stay on for extended periods of time on battery so it, it really came down to a determination of what we internally consider a mobile device and what other nist information is out there so i did a little bit more digging so um, SP 800-124, Revision 2. So this document is all about the guidelines for managing the security of mobile devices within an enterprise. So this document was actually extremely helpful. One of the little uh, subsections that I want to call out specifically is this one right here. So laptops are excluded from the scope of this publication. Although some laptops and desktops management technologies are converging with mobile device management technologies, the security capability Abilities currently available for laptops are different than those available for smartphones and tablets and other mobile devices. Further, mobile devices contain features generally not available in laptops, so multiple wireless network interfaces, GPS, numerous sensors, built-in mobile apps, um, devices with minimal computing capabilities such as like most basic cell phones like your your flip phone or maybe like certain IOT devices stuff like that are also out of scope of this document they typically do not fulfill um, the full-fledged operating system and limited capability and limited security options are available so this was a very important document and kind of what we used as the backbone of our discussion so the NIST glossary definition is pretty good, but the 800-124 document, it literally excludes laptops from the scope of the entire document. So this is kind of where we made our final determination that a mobile device does not include laptops. It really includes the small handheld devices, if you will, that really focus on um, the security of those devices. So like an MDM solution or, or something of that nature. So we ended up not testing the controls as mobile devices were not within our authorization boundary um, 
we just thought it was a good lesson to share with people let other people know that there's plenty of resources regarding mobile devices out there but this document specifically does lay out a nice interpretation of mobile devices and setting security expectations for them within your enterprise like I said, uh, lastly, just a couple controls. Um, I'm sure there's many more within NIST 853 that are impacted by mobile devices, but um, just wanted to call out two specifically. So that AC19, all about the access control in mobile devices, and then MP7 as well. So um, just something to look at and kind of base your, uh, your own research and your own um, arguments on mobile devices on these controls. Um, it's definitely a good place to start. So thanks for tuning in to another episode.